Kayakers from all over BC, the U.S. Pacific Northwest, and as far away as Alberta and Australia are in Ladysmith this weekend. They're taking part in Vancouver Island Paddle Fest. The two-day event attracts people of all paddling abilities as well as manufacturers and retailers. A news reporter Eric Thompson caught up with one of the island companies taking part in Paddle Fest to find out a bit more about the sport. Brian Henry is loading up his trailer and getting ready for one of the biggest kayaking events of the year. Vancouver Island Paddle Fest, which takes place at Transfer Beach in Ladysmith, is a weekend festival for paddlers of all ages and paddling abilities. We live in one of the best places on the planet to go and explore our waterways. Over the past 27 years, Ocean River Sports has evolved into one of the most unique kayak stores in North America. The retail outlet sells an impressive range of kayaks, canoes and related gear and for the beginner Ocean River Sports also offers lessons and rentals. Henry says if you're planning to stay close to shore or kayak on a lake or river you may want to consider a recreational kayak. A recreational kayak is something that's extremely simple to use. Somebody that just wants to mess around in boats. They may have bulkheads or hatches but mainly not too much buoyancy in them. Larger more roomy cockpits. Easy easy to use. This is an ocean-going kayak. It's more seaworthy and a lot longer than a recreational kayak. You can also camp out of this one, and it feels really good. I think I'll just see if I can turn around now. If you live on Vancouver Island um, and you are going to go out on the ocean, you should be looking for an ocean touring kayak. One difference between a recreational kayak and a touring kayak is the touring kayaks have got a directional device. And what that means is the boats are either going to have something that we call a skeg, and that's a little retractable dagger board near the stern of the boat that when deployed allows the boat to track better. Or it could have a rudder, as this boat has, and the rudder, when deployed, goes down and we can control it with our foot pedal. Most recreational kayaks cost between $400 and about $1,000, while sea kayaks can run anywhere from $1,000 up to $5,000 or more. You can find out more about kayaking at Vancouver Island Paddle Fest on this weekend in Ladysmith. In Victoria, Eric Thompson, A News. One of the biggest kayaking events of the year is winding down in Ladysmith this weekend. Vancouver Island Paddle Fest attracts people of all paddling abilities, as well as manufacturers and retailers. A News reporter Eric Thompson caught up with one of the island companies taking part in the two-day event to get some tips for first-time paddlers. It looks easy enough, but a few helpful tips can make a day on the water a lot more enjoyable. Now, are you a canoeer? Brian Henry has been kayaking most of his life. He enjoys sharing his knowledge with others and helping them get into the sport he loves. Early in his career, Henry designed this two-person kayak, complete with a child seat. child can sit in the middle and uh, eat his granola bars and play with his toys, and mom and dad can have a good time, and uh, you can take along the kids. For the past 27 years, Henry has owned and operated Ocean River Sports, one of the premier kayak stores in North America. The company sells a wide range of canoes and kayaks, including some designed for fishing and others that you can carry on an airplane. The company also offers tours, rentals and introductory courses. You'll notice that you need to have a PFD, which is yeah. a personal flotation device. It should have a signaling device on it and that's your whistle. Okay. Okay. Another thing is you need a baler. Uh, a baler is uh, so that if anything happened, you could evacuate the boat of water. There is a real art to getting into a kayak from the dock, and I'm going to try it right now. It's not that difficult, really. It's just really a coordination issue. One hand here on the kayak and the paddle, the other on the dock and on the paddle, and then you put your feet in just like that. Is that right, Brian? That's Hopefully I'm doing this right. And then in theory, slip right in there. And that worked out quite well. I'm really happy with the way that worked out. So you can see when you paddle a kayak, it becomes a lot more part of you. And that's the thing about a touring kayak is, see how I can lean my boat and feel comfortable as long as I have support of my paddle in the water. I want to lean my boat because it makes it more maneuverable. In addition to teaching novice paddlers, Ocean River Sports also focuses on the rich history of kayak design by exhibiting a variety of memorable kayaks that are no longer in production. 
You can check them out at their waterfront store in Victoria or visit OceanRiver.com. In Victoria, Eric Thompson, A News.